Yeah, so I think your observation about climate work becoming much more people-centered is absolutely correct. Um, a decade ago, when I started at the Ecology Action Center, I had to like ban all pictures of wind turbines because that was like the only image that we ever used for climate mm -hmm. action was like a wind turbine, a solar panel, mm -hmm. um, images that had no people in them, right? Where, no, where people can see themselves in this mm -hmm. huge change that we are um, so passionate about making in the world. Um, and we've now come to this place over that, the course of that decade where, you know, I would say some of the campaigns that define the climate movement, at least globally, are, um, and, and here in North America, are campaigns like the Green New Deal, Mm -hmm. um, our campaigns like Keep It in the Ground, uh, campaigns like the Just Recovery campaign that we've been really deeply invo involved with over the course of the pandemic. And those campaigns are all about people. They're all about figuring out how we can be transitioning to a climate safe society um, in a way that takes care of people and in a way that actually improves the lives of people. So not only you know keeps folks at the status quo but actually addresses the um kinds of uh yeah the kinds of injustices that people are experiencing where they live so and you know and gives people access to warmer homes more availability of affordable housing um, easier ways of getting around their communities that seriously confronts um the the harmful, devastating legacy of colonialism and acknowledges the ongoing leadership of indigenous communities and figures out how um, climate action can assure, can be, you know, can be a meaningful element of reconciliation um, and, and, and giving back or not giving back because we don't, it's not ours to give, but um, you know, prioritizing, centering the, the rights and sovereignty of Indigenous communities to, to live and prosper.